Okay, so let's go ahead and get an orange. Um, we go down here. Okay, this is kind of the orange area. This is the color down here is what you're about to get. Um, yeah, that, that looks about right. Maybe up here. Okay, there's my orange. Okay, I'm at about a 50% brush, so that looks good for me. So I'm just going to paint. Now remember, I am painting on the new layer. See, it's not painting and mixing with my bottom layer. This is a brand new layer here. So I'm just going to paint. I've got my reference image, my tracing image below that. So just going to paint. Yeah, I'm trying to be accurate, but not, not all that accurate. Okay, I think the orange is done. Let's go ahead and move on to the next layer. Let's add a plus. And what do we got here? We kind of got the... Uh, the apple and grapes running a close second to what we've got coming up next. So let's go ahead and maybe get a nice red for my apples here. And you can, remember, you can move it around in here, whichever kind of the shade of the color that you want. So um, I'm going to paint. Now watch, it's not going to mix with that orange. It's going to be just fine. There's my, my apple there. Okay. And then my grapes are a big uh, deep purple, so let me go get up into here. Deep dark purple. Well, they're almost a black grape, but I'm going to leave mine as kind of a purple grape here. And I'm going to just paint them in little swirls. Working from the back forward, so I'm going to do the ones at the very back. And then work forward from that. And this is going to look really good. you got to make sure your brush strokes are looking really good here because, oops, I got too close and I mixed the... Um, the red there, so I need to undo that stroke right there. Now oh, I did it again. Let me just zoom in so I can really get that without hitting that red. And you see I'm doing nice little circles because you will see these in the brush strokes. They will really become clear in your brush strokes. All the grapes. Probably should have done this in a separate layer since I'm running into my other colors here. Oh, see, I ran into the the red on that one and I sucked it onto the brush. Okay, I think I've got all the grapes here. Um, I do have a bit of a problem here with my apple and my my um, my apple and my grapes because I need to get some orange down in there. So I'm going to go back to the orange layer, and then you're thinking, oh man, what shade was that? But actually, just grab the eyedropper tap it on there and it sucks the shade back into your color here and now I can oops sorry tap the color go back to our brush and now I'm gonna paint down into here just so we've got orange down we're probably gonna fill that with a shadow look how dark the shadows are in there I just wanted to have it filled in there and since I'm on another layer you saw me paint right underneath it without affecting these colors here okay I think that's enough for this video so in the next video we'll add uh, probably the bananas and the green apple